oh, now this doesn't get through. This mustn't this get. This won't go anywhere. This won't go anywhere because he he uh, ran a, a, a regular merchandise store in Mayer, Minnesota. And I know Mama went to Mound one time to trade in her eggs out here at, with the butcher. And uh, she said to, to the butcher, what do you do with your eggs? Well, he said, she said, uh, he said, uh, uh, I get, uh, I deal with Bill Gungle out of Mayer, Minnesota. And Mama said, oh, that's my brother. <laughs> and the butcher said, biggest crook I ever came across. <laughs> And Mama kept still. She said no more. <laughs> so that's uh, that's them. Now, when you talk about, um, he was the only one that that had a formal education. Uh huh. Well, our grandfather, um, my father's father, didn't he not read and write? Didn't yeah, that's on the Krause that? side. Yeah. Yeah. No, he never he never even learned to read and write. I've showed I've showed you where the schoolhouse was. And where he, where he had to go, where he would have had to go. And then, you know, we, we talked about how he had this very cruel stepmother who uh, uh, wouldn't, uh, who, they ran away from home, he and his two brothers, at a very young age. But so he, he never learned to read, even. Didn't he used to um, hold up the newspaper and pretend he was reading it? And, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he was an extremely wonderful businessman because... Uh, any time he engaged in his bakery business, he uh, made him a success of it. But he always had wanderlust and always wanted to go move somewhere else, I guess. And Ida, your grandma, moved, I don't know, 18 times. They, oh <laughs> they had to move, or they moved because he'd see something that looked better to him, you know. And so he'd, uh, and uh, that's the Krauses, so now mm -hmm. we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. I, were you asking me, or who was? I, somebody was asking about the Krause. I think, uh, I think your grandpa, uh, great grandpa's uh, stone is on the cemetery there at Mayer. Mm -hmm. uh, Krause. Mm -hmm. And then sometime, I hope we can go to the cemetery, you and I, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and look that stone over of our, yeah. my great grandparents, your great great grandparents and mm -hmm. it's just lying there in two pieces and it's, that ought to be taken well, care of. Well, that the one you were talking about before? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. About collecting money from family members and yeah. fixing the mm -hmm. gravestones. Yeah. yeah, I think that we can get mm -hmm. together on that sometime. Yeah. I'd like to see that stone. Uh, it can be laid down, you know, it doesn't have to stand up. Yeah. If you, you haven't been there for many Not years, it's all written in German. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. We used to go there Memorial Day. Yeah. Put uh -huh. flowers and clean up. Cliff, the by the way, Cliff called. You want me to do pictures or talk? No, that's fine. Talk what's talk. going on. Cliff called me and, uh, no, Cliff, Cliff, is Cliff didn't call, but Cliff is now in the, uh, well, I told your mother that. He's in a rest home at uh, oh. Cold Spring. Ah. I told your mother that, and she was going to call Phyllis, but, uh, uh... Cliff is... Your uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is what? he in the same one Louise is in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I called there the other day. I wanted to tell him that the girls were all right after the earthquake, you know, and then I oh, got this... Oh, the girls. Lil and Gert in oh. California, uh -huh. yes. And Lil just had her, what, 92nd birthday? Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I called, uh, called, and I got this Arnie who kind of takes care of the place, and then he told me that Cliff is now in the rest home at Cold Are they going to sell the house? No, no, the house is there, and Arnie will be kind of watching mm -hmm. it, taking care of it. And I'd like to get up there once more and see Cliff if I could. But we'll see how it all goes. Well, maybe when Richard is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he'd love that. I'd like that. to see Cliff again. That he'd was love nice. It. Yeah. Uh -huh. I haven't seen him it. since his 50th anniversary yeah. party. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. So. What else have you got? Oh, what do I got? Well, I don't really know what this is. It's uh, <laughs> it's interesting, though, because it's bridge. Your Uncle Ben was a bridge, uh, my Uncle Ben, was a bridge builder for many years. He worked as a contractor building bridges before. Could he be in this picture? He might be, yeah. Uh, um, 
our uncle but that's Roy the way they, that's bridges with, too. Your well, you see, your brother, see, Uncle Roy, your Uncle Roy worked with Uncle Ben. Well, was Ben in South America when Roy? No, ben? no, but they both worked for a, a contra uh, um, contractor, not a bridge building outfit. Uh, I forget the name of it now, but uh, they were both on the employed by them. No, Uncle Ben was out of there by that time because he was uh, farming by mm -hmm. that time when Roy was. But Roy stayed right with them and went to South America with them and was uh, was uh, uh, died out there because he fell into the stream and was washed out to sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was a great. That was the oldest your your dad's oldest brother, as you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and who's this in the cart with the Walter and Stanley? The oh yeah, lady. that's that's good, uh huh? Yeah, <laughs> who's that's a good this? one. Fairbold. See, I'll get these all pulled together sometime, and then no, we're work. helping you. And I know, but that's what I mean. I'll get so <laughs> I somewhere, somewhere else. I know that I that would be of well, interest to you. Well, I remember that. That um, okay, little is... dresser downstairs. No, honey, that's gone, and oh. that was the fire and everything. That's why this is all, all kind of muzzled up here. Muzzled up. Muzzled up. Muzzled up. I like it. <laughs> muzzled now up. This? That, that's my brother, uh, and he had just come back from the service, World War One. He still has his service hat on, and uh, he uh, had bought that single, that Indian single uh, cylinder. Is, am I talking to him? Yeah. Yes, oh, a motorcycle, <laughs> you know. I still got the motor for that thing around. <laughs> it's, it's quite an antique, you know. I and, didn't uh, know your brother. No, my brother uh, sustained uh, war injuries, so he was in the veterans hospital many, many years. This is a dandy picture. Mm -hmm. Just a dandy. Yeah. Is this at the farm? That's your. Yeah, farm? down at, at mm -hmm. the home farm. So, were you right on that one? Mm-hmm. What else have you got, Mildred? Well, oh yeah, you were talking about. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a good one. This is. Uh, <laughs> Walter Gungle, you know, we've talked about the Gungle, but the one that was the mail carrier, mm -hmm. and uh, the way he would carry mail in those days with horse and buggy. Oh, no kidding. And then uh, he's got with him, he's got Uncle Bill's son Stanley with him, oh. his nephew. But I think that's interesting, too, in the old days, how they'd carry the mail by with horses and buggies, you know. We have to write that on the back of this one. Okay. Walter Gongo. It's down. It's down underneath there right now. I mean that. Write oh, down no. what he's doing. Like he's carrying mail mm -hmm. because we won't know that. Well, these are just neighbors. This isn't oh. uh, anything that. Could... She's got a lovely. Uh, but you did. You did talk about this kind of picture. I think that's rather interesting. Yeah. Who are these? Well, this people? this was my grandpa Cranky, and my aunt Mary Cranky, and that's what they would do in those days. They'd, and following, uh, that's the same one, mm -hmm. following a death, they would uh, appear with these things and uh, sell them to you, you know. Well, why do you have two of one person? You pass these out to people then? Yeah, you'd pass them out. Huh. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, they would have a verse with it. And this They're one, in German, this though. one is in German. Uh, gestorben aber nicht vergessen, that means uh, dead but not forgotten. But I, I won't go through this whole thing and, because that wouldn't interest you too much. It is interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, that other box of pictures, that's where, where my mother would be in with her wedding picture and everything. That's yes, I borrowed that one. And mm -hmm. the cousins, those, yeah. those women from Buffalo, the, yeah, uh -huh. the fast yeah. cousins from Buffalo. Well, that's, that's in that other bunch somewhere. Who's this? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a young man that aspired to be my sweetheart. Oh, no. <laughs> Where and is I, he? I don't think, where is he? I think he's probably dead by now. <laughs> <laughs>
And then that's a good question, or is he is right? <laughs> but he still lives, he did live around here? As oh, yeah, they were neighbors, you know. Mm -hmm. In those days, we, mm -hmm. we had a lot to do with our neighbors. This is the first year I was teaching. I had bought that, that coat with a fur collar. I thought that was really something. Who are you with? Well, a real dear friend of mine who is still a very dear friend of mine. You know what's missing out of these pictures and when we find that other box is pictures of Lil and Gert and Cliff. Yeah, but yeah, there should be a lot of those mm -hmm. around. Well, they will have to be, uh, that That has to be upstairs. I don't, I still don't think you Can found them. Can I borrow the... this one? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Is that the same one? The yeah, one you've, had, you've had that with Grandma and her boys. Uh -huh. Here's Annie and Otto. Yeah, oh, this is the wedding. This is Otto and Annie's wedding picture. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> That's the whole Uncle Otto. Uh-huh. That one was in the fire. Look at the envelope, Sue. Mm-hmm. Do you think a lot of your pictures burned? No, I don't think so. Good. But, well, uh, this is but they're around Uncle somewhere. Here. Yeah. Oh, this is this is interesting in that this was Grandma's house in Helvetia, mm -hmm. and uh, they're all on there, except Tilly isn't on there. But this is the house she lived in in Helvetia. We took a picture of it, didn't we? Uh huh. Helvetia now is just one building, right? No, no, there's, there's, there's buildings still a there, but there. it was in that day there wasn't any mayor, you know. There was just. Uh, Helvetia, because until the railroad came through, uh, the Great Northern went through to Hutch, then uh, there was no railroad, and Helvetia was the main uh, was the main town. Is it still called Helvetia? Oh, we call it Helvetia. Nobody else does, I suppose. <laughs> That's where Grandma's house was. Uh -huh. Whose house are they standing in front of there? And there. Uh, I wonder. I don't know. I don't know who, so that's four of the men, four of the... Mm -hmm. Who's this here? Which that's Bill. Okay, that's the one that I... Yeah, that's, that's Bill one. and Otto and Ben and mm -hmm. Robert. Okay, then it was Bill that I mm -hmm. knew. Yeah. Oh, there you come with some. Well, yes, oh, that's, uh, uh, that's our grandmother. had before. Oh, yeah. oh you've our had great grandma. Them. Yeah, we looked at those. Oh. And that's just, that's my mm -hmm. stepdaughter. And, in uh, Tucson. Well, this store, you, this one you looked at, that's yeah. uh, that's the interior. I think it's an interior of a of a store in Mayer in the early days. Does it look familiar? Yeah, it looks familiar to me. I I wouldn't know for sure that it's Uncle Bill's store or not in Mayer in the early days. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. It was in 1948. Oh, 48, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well? Well? Oh, my father. Oh! <laughs> my father in his heyday. And what was his name? Frank Crinky. Frank. And uh, that's, I suppose, in his courting days. <laughs> Sure. And this is this is good. Uh, this is this is your great grandma. No, your grandma Ida. Ida. Uh -huh. With uh, Uncle Otto's wife Annie. Mm -hmm. It's rather dim, but. Uh, you don't have a copy of that picture uh, of the barn raising. Yeah, I have it somewhere, but yeah, where? Yeah, it's somewhere. It's with all those others. Yeah, it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. There's more stuff up there. Huh? Yeah. Well, we'll find them when we catalog the pictures. And then uh, this one is kind of interesting. Uh, there were three. Um, there were three original Gungles who came over as uh, pioneers. From they were from uh, Germany. From where in Germany? From. Uh, well, I'd have to look at the. I'd have to look at my information there, but they did were you, pretty well. They were pretty well near the. Uh, they were pretty well near the Polish, near Poland. 
This is where they came from, the, the Gungles. Mm -hmm. And uh, our, our, my great-grandpa, my grandpa, your great-grandpa was uh, Frederick Gungle, and uh, he was married then to Hermina Arndt, your great-grandma, mm -hmm. my grandma, who's on all those pictures. Mm -hmm. Well, then, <clears throat> Grandpa had uh, three brothers, two brothers, and this one is rather interesting. This is Julius, and he became a minister. He's strong. He's Reverend. in that barn raising picture. Too. Uh, not yeah. Julius, I don't oh, think. No, I like... don't think that. I think that was beneath a minister to raise a barn. <laughs> no, oh, he was directing it. He was probably off on his ministry somewhere. Now, they came from Germany to where? They came from Germany to, uh, well, uh, my grandpa and uh, grandma came to um, to Bottle Creek. <laughs> Battle Creek, they used to call it Bottle Creek. Battle Creek, Michigan, not far from where the Kellogg, from mm -hmm. where the Kellogg uh, uh, industries are. Mm -hmm. And they came to what was called White's Farm. And Grandma, gra Grandpa worked as a carpenter and Grandma worked as a milkmaid. Mm -hmm. And when they came, they had the three children. They had Otto and Charlie and Herman. Then, uh, uh, let's see, yes, and Ida was born. Then Ida was born there, too, your Grandma, mm -hmm. was born in Battle Creek, Michigan. Well, then, uh, meanwhile, uh, great grandpa, great grandpa Gungle, the one that I wanted to mm -hmm. fix stone, he had come on, he and Julius and, uh, and John, I don't have John's picture here, but I have it somewhere. They had come on somehow, they had come on to, to uh, St. Paul or Minneapolis, no, St. Paul, I imagine, by probably by boat up the Mississippi. And then they had uh, taken a claim out here they called them claims in those days, out at Mayer. So uh, when uh, Grandpa and Grandma got ready to move on, they uh, came and joined Great Grandpa and Great Grandma. Great Grandma, too, you know. They're both there okay. on the cemetery, both greats. Oh. And your uh, your great greats. Uh, and, and joined them here and took another claim. So, uh, right so grandma and grandpa lived there, uh, great grandma and grandpa, and John lived with them. John and Julius, the two boys, came with them. And uh, then, uh, however, there were other, there were girls in that family too, and they had, they, um, I don't think they came on here because they, one was in Buffalo and one was in uh, Detroit, I guess. I have some somewhere. I have these two, and anyway, uh, then then they they came and uh, my gra grandma and grandpa came and and settled here uh, on the Crow River, right out of Mayer. I've showed you that site. Mm -hmm. If I haven't, I and will. And you always crow as we go. Over. Yeah, we always have to crow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, then uh, that's where they finally settled, and uh, then my mother was the first one uh, born here in Mayer, and then. Eventually, they moved over more toward Helvetia there, on where Uncle Charlie was on that farm. Was our so as I remember, there was Grandma down on the corner in Helvetia in a little white house, and she had with her her, <coughs> her sister. We called her Taunt. <laughs> and then up the hill was Uncle Herman, and then the next place was Uncle Charlie's place. Uh, all lovely farms up the hill there, you know, and uh, so the um, uh, Uncle Charlie took over the home place from Grandma and Grandpa after Grandpa died. Grandpa died quite young and left Grandma with uh, all these teenage boys to bring up. Mm -hmm. And uh, her idea was to hit first and then find out what she was hitting him for. <laughs> and then she, she. Uh, she disciplined them, gave them a good one, you know. <laughs> they all loved her to death. They all loved her to death. And uh, so she uh, uh, brought up those, uh, the girls were married by that time, all the older ones were away or married, and there were these three uh, teenage boys, Bill and, and uh, no, four of them, Bill and uh, 
Robert and Walter and Ben. So she had to bring them. Well, it got to be too big a chore, and so uh, Charlie took over the farm, and she moved into the little white house, and the boys kind of spread out and went here and there then and got themselves established. Well, was the farm that Ben was on that I remember, was that originally that was, No, no, that was not. That? Uh, that was originally his wife's... Uh, hmm his wife's uh, uh, inheritance, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I think we should do? What? I think we should do this again when we, you know, when we find the other pictures um, with the barn and all that mm -hmm. and sort of, uh, yeah. when Susan and I come out to catalog them. Mm -hmm. Sure. But sure this has will. been great. This has been so much fun, though, to hear all these stories again, <laughs> some of which I've heard before, some I haven't. Well, whatever. I see the pictures. I, it's so much fun. I know they're around. It, I, I, none of them got burned, I know that. And it's just that they got so disorganized after people took things and they just threw them together, you know, just to make sure that they didn't You're get burned there. and everything yeah. else. Well, it's so t we're so lucky to have someone like you, you know, who remembers. remembers all these things and knew a lot of these people and and know the stories. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, that's of course Harriet Bradford, Aunt Anne, Uncle Otto's wife, yeah. and Harriet, who just died, Harriet yeah. Bradford, and her husband, down at our farm, down that was our our my kitchen, our kitchen there. Mm -hmm. That's all that's in this big. Yeah, well, I know there's a lot more stuff around. Okay, there. well, why don't we uh, sign off for today? Well, you, whatever you want to do. Okay. You think you can come again? Why, that'd be sure, okay. sure. Mildred, um, I'm so glad that you were able to take time out to go through some more of these photographs. Yes, because, I did. Um, now, for the sake of the video, why don't you say how um, we're second cousins, first cousins, no, twice they, removed? What are you're, we? My, you're my second cousin because your father and I were cousins. I say were because he's no longer with us. So that makes you my second cousin. Not removed, just second cousin. <laughs> okay. And I think a great deal of you, too. <laughs> and you um, have a cold hand. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, why don't we just start right out by going through some of these pictures. Okay. Now, some of these pictures go all the way back to um, uh, when my ancestors, my great-grandparents, which would be your grandparents, right, came here from Germany. Yes, I think we can find some of those. Um, um, Here's a terrific picture. Well, those are those were your um, your grandma's cousins, and those. <laughs> I always like that picture because of the way it's so uh, so flowered up. It's <laughs> a wonderful picture. Uh -huh. Three cousins uh, of theirs. Uh -huh. The aunt girls, they were called. The aunt girls. The aunt girls. Mm -hmm. And they did not settle here in Minnesota, right? Their parents did. In Helvetia. In, not in Helvetia? In Helvetia, right. Uh huh. Very much so. Okay. Um, let's back up a little bit to this one. All I love right. this photograph. All right. <clears throat> you probably remember that I wrote in that, uh, that uh, account I sent you of your ancestry that. Uh, at one time, your great-grandparents uh, moved onto a farm close to Helvetia. And when they got there, of course, they had, to, they had to build a barn. And this is the building, the raising of a log structure, a, their log barn. And uh, all the uh, neighbors were on there, and the close relatives and so on. And uh, my, my grandparents were on there, and your great-grandparents. And uh, I think, um, uh, well, all, all the various ones that were part of, of our family at that time. And this guy here with the beard. That was great-grandpa, your great-grandpa, my great-grandpa, my grandpa, your great-grandpa. <laughs> and he is uh, Frederick Gongle. Frederick Gongle, right. 
Uh -huh. And isn't his wife on here somewhere too? Oh yeah, she's one of those with the sunbonnet and the. Uh, oh yeah, over here. Okay. And the white apron. Sure. Yeah, that's okay. her, that's and then I think her sister uh, is uh, standing right next to her, but the one with the sunbonnet. I isn't there one there yeah. with the sunbonnet? Uh -huh. That's that's my grandma, your great grandma. Uh huh. Oh. And it's called the barn raising. That's they, they did that in those days. Now tell me about this lady. Well, that's that's uh, that's my grandma Gungal and your great grandma Gungal, and she's the one that's on here with her seven sons or with her. She had ch ten children, you know, seven sons and three daughters. And she came from Germany, right? She's the one who came from Germany in the account that I sent you. Yeah, uh huh. And she and and Frederick and and pioneered there and. Her last days then were spent right there in that little white house in uh, Helvetia. And Helvetia is? It's, uh, the, it's no longer called Helvetia, but it's about a mile to two miles south of Mayer, Minnesota. And uh, when the Great Northern went through Mayer, then uh, they went through Mayer, uh, well, then Helvetia ceased to be important, and uh, the town Except grew to up. Except to the Gungles. Except to the Gungles. But they uh, grew up then, I mean, then uh, uh, Helvetia kind of deteriorated. But in the in those days, there was a store and a, and a saloon there, too. And a saloon? <laughs> and a saloon, right. Now, wasn't she quite a Are character? Wasn't she? She was a marvelous person. She uh, called a spade a spade, very much so. And uh, she just... Uh, her, uh, gra my grandpa died when uh, in at 48, so she had uh, all those seven boys to bring up, as well as the girls, ten children, and she was left with the young teenagers to take oh to bring up, and she Please. did a marvelous job because there wasn't a there wasn't a uh, uh, criminal in the bunch. <laughs> they were all fine citizens. Turned out to be real and fine law-abiding citizens. Pardon? They all went into the bakery business. No, just uh, none of them went into the bakery business. But your grand, your mother was the, uh, her daughter, of course, was the wife of a baker, Bernard Krause. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell from her hands that she didn't have an easy life. So she, she was, was she, a worker. she was a worker, indoors or outdoors, and the pioneer women in those days had to be workers, you know, very definitely and uh, had to do everything. Do you have this chair that she's sitting in? Have you got uh, that around here somewhere? I don't have that chair, but it's somewhere in the relationship. One of the, one of the cousins has it, so it's still around. What about this, Mildred? This is, this is pretty fascinating. I okay. I don't think you see many of these at anywhere or at all. These are, this, these are, uh, Hair. These are flowers made out of hair, and uh, the uh, hair that was used was were uh, was the hair of my mother, her two sisters, and her mother. So it's Grandma Gungle's uh, hair and her three daughters' hair made into flowers. And if you if it shows at all, you will see that. There are lilies in there, and I think there are some. Uh, it's amazing. Some roses and so on, and it's it was, amazing. How old would you say this is? Oh my, that goes surely goes back to the 1880s. That's over 100 years old. And her her son, Grandma's son Otto, the oldest one, uh, had it made for her. And the, she always had it in this same frame, this same box. I've never changed it in any way since it's been in my possession. Gosh. It's still the same. It's still the same box. That's, and it's in. That's pretty fascinating. And my mother's was the lightest in there. Her, see, my mother's hair is in there because she was one of the daughters. Uh -huh. So we'll have to do that with our hair, Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had some <laughs> left that I cut off years ago. Now, who, here's obviously somebody's wedding picture. Who are these? Oh, folks? that's the oldest. That's Otto Gungle and his uh, wife, Annie, Annie Cranky Gungle. And uh, that's their wedding picture. And uh, 
It really was something in those days, wasn't it? It was. I love the background. Uh -huh. Here's another picture with one of those kind uh, of backgrounds. This, was, this of course, is, is, is Grandpa and Grandma Gungo. And uh, she, um, is uh, this Frederick her? and Hermina. Yeah, uh -huh. this is a later date, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was taken, I suppose. They came to Minnesota in about the uh, in about the eighteen uh, sixties. Uh, so that's about uh, then. Later on, they must have taken that picture, posed for that picture. This is a wonderful picture. And that's her. That's her seven boys. Which who's who? All right. <coughs> There's Otto, the oldest, Charlie, Herman, uh, Willie. Uh, Walter, Robert, and Ben. I remember Ben. He's mm -hmm. the only of all the. Yeah, the he's men he's the one that had the finally uh, had to have a leg taken off, and I still use his cane. You do. I saw uh -huh. the cane. It has his it name. Ha on it. it has his name right, uh, right. Uh, uh, scratched in it. Ben Gungle. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. These they're so wonderful. These pictures. Okay, what about this? Well, this one I really don't know the ancestry of, but it's interesting, I think, because of the fact that it's a picture of a threshing machine in, in of the early days, the old big uh, steam engine and the separator, and uh, and they had to have a water wagon and everything, you know. And uh, I think it's really a fine, uh, did you know fine picture. Did you no, know? I this mm -hmm. one I it somehow has come to be from somebody else. I don't know the history of it. I would assume it's probably in Dakota. Mm -hmm. It did say in. Dakota on it. Uh -huh. yeah. Ooh. I have never seen this picture. All right, that's Uncle Charlie's boy, his son. Uh, that would have been my cousin Clarence. And that's his wedding picture, and it's a sad picture because he died three weeks after the wedding, oh. and uh, then his wife uh, more or less lived only two, three years because of a broken heart. I say, I know it sounds kind of sentimental, but that's what it was. Beautiful, uh, beautiful picture way over near Corcoran in uh, North Hennepin. So you had two cousin Clarences. Was it my, my father's that, your name? Your father's was name was Clarence, too, but this was Clarence Dunnell. But they called him Bud. Your father was Bud, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of interesting, too, I think, because that's Uncle Otto's daughter, Harriet. Uh, Harriet, and this is her graduation from North High in about the year, um, oh, back in the 1914s, 15s, somewhere in there. Okay, we'll... Uh take a little break and, and come back to this. Okay, fine. All right. It was in the fire. Yeah, the this went through burned. the fire that I had at the cabin here a few years ago. But the picture, and none of my pictures went. I, uh, I was able to save them all, that. thank goodness. All right. This and, is? Uh, this, is uh, this is Grandma Grungle's house in Helvetia where I used to visit when I was a little girl. We'd come there for Christmas, you know. We till, drove by that house, down, didn't we? Said, and, yeah, didn't well, we I took you past there and, uh, a number Richard? of times, and Richard, yeah, I've taken you there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, in Helvetia, just the way it looked in those days. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay. She is beautiful. Who All is this? All right, well, she's... Uh, she was, uh, uh, she's the daughter of, of my grandpa's uh, sister who settled in Buffalo, Buffalo, in Buffalo New, York. New York. And uh, so uh, that's about all I know about her, except that she was kind of more or less sophisticated, I suppose. It's a beautiful dress. It's a beautiful dress. You but they all were beautiful somewhere? dresses in those days, they you did. know. They were handmade almost, in, invariably handmade, and all that was stitched on by hand, all those ruffles and everything else. It's beautiful. And uh, it, uh, uh, 
my Aunt Tilly, that would be your mother's, your grandma's sister, went to Buffalo one time and stayed with, with this cousin. She did. So this would have been her cousin. She Is she still on. living, you think? Oh, I doubt it, you know. <laughs> Way back to the 80s. Oh, the 80s, as in 1880. 1880, okay. right. <laughs> Correct. And that one we didn't look we at. We did okay. And that, of course, is Uncle Otto and Aunt Annie again. And uh, at a much later date, we had their wedding picture in the previous date. But uh, I, I guess it, they just really did an awful lot of picture taking in those days. And uh, I've always marveled at the way the pictures would come out so lovely and nice. And but it, we're so lucky, Mildred, because uh -huh. you not only have all these pictures, you actually knew some of these people. Oh, and you yes. remember the stories. Mm -hmm. So you. You know, yeah, you're supposed to be coming out one of these days again, to remember? Yes, <laughs> we're going to catalog good. them. Well, we're off to a good start. Uh huh. Yeah, well, you want to have this one, surely. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that's your grandma. That's your grandma, Ida. Ida Gongle. Ida Krause. Gongle Krause and uh, Bernard uh, Krause. And, and this was their wedding picture. And Bernard was a baker. Bernard was a baker. And then, of course, uh, that went down to his sons. And your daddy was uh, became a baker, too, A baker, of and course. I myself have baked a cookie or two. You baked a cookie or two? Well, good for you. <laughs> that is pretty good. You so do it with is... a mix or what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> was this their wedding picture then? This was the... their wedding picture, yes. Uh -huh. Did they... And it you doesn't... notice how the man always sat. There's mm -hmm. a man, notice how the man always sat and the uh, uh, bride always stood. I it... think nowadays, I don't know what they do now, <laughs> how they pick their wedding pictures nowadays. How do they do it? <laughs> I, I don't think they have the man sitting. <laughs> no. I don't think so either. But, Mildred, it doesn't really look like a wedding dress because it's dark. Is it? Um, oh, they wore dark dresses. My mother's they? wedding wedding dress was a dark dress did they, with a white veil. I don't know why, but they did. did they, they wore have, dark dresses. Were the dresses specifically made for their wedding or were they? Well, they made them for the wedding very specifically, but of course then it was with the thought that later on they they would use them. Mm -hmm. So I know my mother's wedding dress was around yet when I was a little girl, but uh, they didn't, you know, they used dresses for years in those days. They didn't throw them away the next fall or something and get something new. Well, this is a nice picture. Okay, now, Mildred. Oh, that. Face the music. What is this? Well, that, I wonder what that is. <laughs> <laughs> this is you and when and where? Well, that was my graduation from high school. Oh, how terrific. 1921. From where? Here? Mound Consolidated High School. Do you still keep in touch with your old high school? Oh, well, uh, yes, I do, but you see, I'm practically the oldest graduate now. There's only a few who are older than I am there at Mound. And uh, so most of my class is, is gone. So you graduated from Mound High School from and Mound then you High later School. taught there, right? No, I, I subbed there when I came back from the West, but I did most of my te I did some teaching uh, in the state, of course, uh, my high school teaching, and then I taught in the grades. I taught up at St. Bonifacius here. and. Uh, and uh, then I went west. Well, Watertown, I taught at Watertown. Then I taught in the west a long time. Phoenix. Fifteen years Phoenix. from Phoenix and uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, Los Angeles area. Mildred, I wish we could find the photograph of you as a little girl with the dirty sock. Remember, you you yes. had a black spot on the sock. Well, that's in here. I love that picture. That's in here. Oh, wait, somewhere. let's do this one while we're here. All right. Well, that was, that was what they used to do in the old days when um, uh, people had died, then they'd come around just as they do for tombstones nowadays. Immediately they'd come around with these things and uh, and sell them. They'd have this thing so that just the picture could be put in the center. This was my Grandpa Cranky on my father's side. Uh -huh. And uh, they were... Um, what does it say? It's German. It's German. It, well, it just says... Uh, uh, I won't try to read it. Because, um, 
äh, gestorben, aber nicht vergessen, means äh, gone but not forgotten, dead but not forgotten. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, what about this one? Well, Who are those folks? Well, that's uh, that's uh, your grandma's sister, uh, brother Walter, and his his. They looked like kids. Wife. Well, they probably were young in those days. I think they married young. That's Walter and Sarah Gongle, and uh, that's uh, that's their picture. The Gongles and the Crankies and the Krauses. It's, there's not much guess where we're from, right? Where our ancestors are no, from? No, I think we can pinpoint <laughs> that down very well. <laughs> okay. Who are these people? Well, that's Uncle Bill. My Uncle Bill, your great Uncle Bill, and his wife, and Stanley and Ethel. They're just a family picture of those days. Uh -huh. That's a nice one. Okay, the girls. Yeah, that's Grandma's Grandma and and her daughters, the middle. This one's going to be hard to get to stand up. The middle one was my mother, and then uh, your uh, your grandma Ida. And the middle, and your mother's name was Emma. Emma. She was Emma. And Ida. Emma and, and Ida. Ida and Matilda, and uh, grandma was Hermina. Hermina. Uh huh. Oh, Meant oh, little her, little Herman, I guess. <laughs> so they had. Seven sons and three daughters. Seven sons and three daughters. And they were all born here, Minnesota? Uh, no, no. Three of them came along with them when they came from Germany. And uh, then uh, uh, your grandma was born in Battle Creek, Michigan. My mother was the first one born here in Minnesota when they came and settled here on the uh, Crow River. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> the Crow River. Right? On the Crow River, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that's, um, that's uh, those are the um, Herman Gungles, and uh, there's beautiful dresses. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So this is Herman, and that's he Herman. is your uncle. My uncle, your great your uncle, great uncle, your your grandma's brother, one of the seven. Okay. Uh huh. And these and folks? these these are both Tesh's, Mrs. Mrs. Reuben Tesh and Mrs. Harris Tesh, and uh, then the boys were Wesley and Ed, and then, oh, she was a Tesh too. That was interesting because three daughters there married three brothers. Three sisters married three brothers. Oh, three sister, like a movie. Three sister Gungles married three, three brother Teshes. And, and, uh, so that, and lived happily ever after? And they all lived. Happy, I think I am sure they were, but it was interesting because some of the children would look more like the aunts and the uncles and the. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because of the. And they're all still around here. No, well, they're pretty well depleted now. Uh, but Gertrude is still living. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the children mm -hmm. are living. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in Florence and Gertrude are the only two who are still living. At Mayor. She has wonderful eyes. Yeah, that was my aunt Rachel. I think it was interesting that my aunt's names were very interesting because there was, they were almost all biblical. Annie and uh, Sarah, Rachel, Hulda, they were all biblical names in those days. And of course, they were a biblical family too, you know. Mm -hmm. There was very much emphasis on, on the Bible in those days, mm -hmm. fortunately. There you go. This is the picture. Yes. I love this picture. <laughs> I borrowed this picture to have it remade for myself. And Mildred said, when you have it made, see if they'll, they can take that little spot off the sock. She's not, all her life she's been embarrassed about the dirty sock. <laughs> I love it. Tell us about this picture. Well, I was probably, that was probably my eighth grade picture. I don't suppose you've seen that, Arlene. Probably. Most terrific. And, uh, See the big bow I had, and that nice, pretty new dress with the embroidery on the collar and cuffs, I guess. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was really posing there, I'll say that. Really posing. That's nice. That's a nice picture. And who's this, a relative? <laughs> 
No, it's not a relative. And actually, I didn't ever personally know this person, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> and Mary Todd Lincoln, mm -hmm. and two of the boys. I mm -hmm. don't know which two, but <laughs> it happened to be in the picture that I had one of those framed pictures. So I, uh, I when I put a relative in, I took this out. So well, I really can't. I really family. can't claim relationship with good. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Oh yes, my my parents. Uh, oh, that's a nice. Just picture. shortly before their death, uh huh. That's yeah. a nice one. Yeah. They, uh, they and they're buried out, out not at, where. No, they're buried over at uh, Minatrista Baptist Cemetery in uh, okay. in Saint Bonifacius. And the cemetery, my grandparents and great grandparents and great great. Yes. Are and all great, buried. Great. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, great greats. Great mm -hmm. greats. They're all on the Mayor uh, Mayor Evangelical Cemetery out near Helvetia, and uh, you know I showed you those broken stones. Right. And uh, we must get busy at that because I would like to see the, those stones repaired. Absolutely. And I'd like to get it to to the relatives to the bloodline. Absolutely. And get a get some money collect to have those stones. Because just think, that's your great grandparents, and then that would be, uh, for instance, uh, and my Sue's, great great Sue's yeah great great and Sue's great great great. So I think it's uh, they should be preserved. Uh huh. They can just be put together and laid down, you know. But it's so wonderful. They're all written in German. Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh yes. Those things were German. That was in yeah. the German days. Uh -huh. Well, we'll have to go out there. We'll days. go it's there, been a while. and yeah. not just at the moment with all this snow. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I'd be sorry to think of anyone having to be buried there right now. Oh my, that well, that's one of my later, one of my later days. I was teaching at Blue Earth at about that time. So. Uh, okay. Sometime I'll get all those chromos together. <laughs> Well, let's um, relax for a minute. Okay. Take a little break. All right. And we'll come back in a minute. Now, this is you. This is this is myself. You know, I my parents took over this cabin in about the early '40s, and uh, then a little later than that, I got it from them. And uh, this is the way it looked. See that that addition, that part there was not on at all. It was just this original cabin and with a, right over there where the door is, uh, there was a uh, porch there. Uh, the, where the bedroom is? Uh-huh. That was oh. just kind of a old lean-to porch with uh, grapevines over it. So these inside walls used to be logs, right? Well, they were chinked walls, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were all chinked out and uh, then after a while, we put a uh, wallboard over it, and then we put the uh, paneling. I, when I was coming back here to live, you see, and then I had it paneled out because I, it, I needed it for warmth, and also paneling is kind of old-fashioned, too. Yeah, so, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Now, why is there a ladder on the roof? I don't really, I don't really know why they had the ladder there, except, uh, see, there was not even a chimney on it. This. The, this chimney was not had not been built, when was so this? it was just so that the uh, stovepipe would go up through the roof. When was the cabin built? In uh, I just was looking over the the um, uh, um, abstract of the deed, and Mr. Hoffman came here in about uh, 1884, and uh, so. Uh, I presume, and bought this tract of land, five acres of land. So uh, I imagine it was built about the about 1890, or before that. See, this is 85. I think it was built before that. I always say it's about 100 years old. But Mildred, you've been saying it's 100 years old since I was little, so it's got to be a lot. I think it's older than that. Well, we'll we'll say 100 and stay with that That's now. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, is it? This is the highest, or one of the highest points. It's in supposedly County. the highest point in the county, 
uh, I don't know for sure, uh, you know, whether it's really authenticated, but Mr. Hoffman always said it was the highest point, and it certainly is high because as I look out, I see the Ideas Tower and the uh, building right next to it, and I can, at night I look out on a clear night and I can see that, that uh, uh, flame or that light flashing across, uh, keeps flashing on top of the Ideas oh, Tower. Oh, sure. 20 sure. miles away. Yeah, it's high. Uh -huh. it's, and it's always cool here, right, in the summer? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, I have, it's very nice here. I can't say I complain. I do have a fan, but uh, uh, with these two doors open and mm -hmm. good cross ventilation, usually there's a breeze up mm -hmm. here. Oh, it's uh -huh. beautiful here. Yeah. Um, who's this? Oh, that that's uh, Uncle Otto's daughter, Harriet, as a young girl. She, um, she and her little black dog there. <laughs> so she is your first cousin? My first cousin, mm -hmm. and uh, your she's no longer living. She mm -hmm. died uh, two years ago now. She became Mrs. Uh, Dr. Arthur Bratude. Her, her husband was a leading physician in Minneapolis for many years. This and, is wonderful. Uh, her daughter, her daughter Ann, Hooten, Ann Bratrude Hooten is in Minneapolis, lives in Minneapolis right off of Lake Calhoun. She's the one who does something like She that. does uh, handwriting. handwriting. She's a handwriting. She's called in. She was even called in on the Howard Hughes uh, will to authenticate the, uh, the uh, uh, whether that was a genuine will or not. Oh, she's she always thought it was, but then uh, it was interesting. She was even called to Las Vegas to do, do that. And that was Uncle Charlie, uh, your mother's brother, Liddy. And Clarence, remember the man I said in that wedding picture, mm -hmm. cousin. who uh, my cousin who uh, died to about very shortly after his wedding, just a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, three weeks that, later. That was Clarence. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Mm -hmm. They lived on the. They lived on the farm where the uh, where the barn raising went on. Oh, they did after, here. Yeah. Uh, after Grandma and Grandpa gave uh -huh. that up, why then they, uh, I mean, they gave it over, well, Grandpa had died, and then uh, Grandma farmed for a while on that farm with three or four of the younger boys. But uh, then uh, she retired and went to Mayor in that little white house, to Elvisha in that little white house. Is this and, barn uh, And that Still was there? a barn. No, I doubt that it is. Mm -hmm. No, it's very hard to find an, a genuine log structure anymore. They're all pretty well. Well, that's this not an especially one good one, but right it's one. my brother who was in World War I when he went into service at the age of 18. Your brother Irving. My brother Irving. And uh, I have another picture of him here somewhere. A picture um, with the motorbike? Yeah, well, you you have that one, I guess. Oh, that's right. Oh, I don't have that one, but uh, he was in the service then uh, in World War One, and that's so that's the old uh, uh, World War One uniform. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. With the spats. And with the yeah, oh yeah, they had things, you know. I don't know if they called them spats, but whatever they were. <laughs> and that's uh, Aunt Tilly and Uncle Ed. Those. Again, your your grandma's sister, my mother's sister, at Engelke, the Engelkes. Mm -hmm. Tilly yeah. as in Matilda. Tilly as in Matilda. And you probably want this one of, down oh, on the yes. down on the home farm. This one will be hard to pick up, but it's wonderful. Down on the old. See, I I um, grew up. Is that somebody leaving? <clears throat> I grew up down just a quarter of a mile around down here on, on Highway uh, 26, and uh, we had my folks farmed there, and this was my mother and myself, and my, my dog Teddy, he had a little problem there, <laughs> <laughs> a little flea problem. <laughs> we have a, another picture somewhere of Teddy riding on a milk wagon or a Something Most like likely, yeah. yeah. Mail, mm -hmm. mail wagon, maybe. Possibly. Don't we? I Sitting don't know. up on top. Maybe so. Was this your farm then? 
That was kind of the buildings that, uh, at that time. However, my father rebuilt everything there, and it was entirely different later on. Would you want this? This is when I was when I graduated from yes, Hamlin. we want this one. Hamlin University. Hamlin University in 1925. This one is, won't, probably won't photograph very well. Probably won't, no. 1925? 1925. Went out to teach right after that and taught practically well with a few years off until uh, 19, uh, what, 60? Well, just two, three years ago that I stopped, stopped uh, uh, subbing. I think I retired from actual teach years uh, in uh, 1960. That's my brother. Oh, it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a picture of him. My brother Irving. My brother Irving. I didn't know Irving, but... No, well, he had... I'm uh, kind of getting to know him now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Seeing these pictures. Well, we had quite a time growing up, Irving and I. You, uh, you said you used to go to church um, in a uh, wagon with horses? Absolutely, yeah. Horse and buggy. Get, this is Grandma again. We'd get up at, uh, my, my folks would get up at 4 o'clock to get all the chores done, and then horse and buggy from over here, and then 8 miles over to... St. Bonnie to the Minotrista Baptist Church to get there in time for church, you know, at uh, 10 o'clock. And having done all the chores and gotten ourselves ready and everything else, it was quite a chore. That's and you'd wrap up in blankets and blankets. Mm -hmm. You have that. I yeah. guess you have that one. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the clock? I heard a clock chiming here a while ago. Clock yeah, that's, uh, that was my Grandma Cranky's clock. It's and that's a mantle clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, used to be that I only wound it once every uh, every eight days, but uh, somehow I have to wind it more frequently now. I guess it's uh, not as uh, not as uh, in good, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of worn out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that you wouldn't be in. That's just and. Uh, Oh, I told you about Uncle Ben, didn't I? How he was a build, bridge builder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He uh, he worked for a bridge building concern. Uh, that was the youngest of the, of the seven boys. Worked for a bridge building concern uh, and uh, was engaged in that for a long time. In the West, this possibly would have been one of the bridges that he worked on. And then he uh, took on your Uncle Roy, mm -hmm. and um, and Roy worked with him for many, quite a few years, and then they went to uh, South America and were engaged in building a bridge down there. And do uh, you remember the river? Uh, no, you anyway, told me one time. I told you, and I can't think at the moment, uh, Northern South America. And uh, Roy happened to somehow drop into the river, and he was uh, washed out to sea. My mother. And they never found him. And your, that would be uh, your mother's, your daddy's oldest brother. Mm -hmm. My mother said she has um, all the letters mm -hmm. about that. Uh -huh. So uh, he was never found, and uh, it's awfully hard on, <coughs> on Aunt Ada at that time, too. But his uh, his memorial marker is with uh, with uh, your grandma Ida and Grandma Bernard there at Mayor on the Mayor Cemetery. There's a memorial marker there. I've right. never been there. Well, then it's about time you get there. <laughs> we must get there and get at those tomb at those tombstones. This spring, we'll gra gather up my sisters and my uh -huh. brother and, and take Do a tour. Take and we'll have a picnic somewhere on the cemetery. <laughs> That'd be a good place, wouldn't it? Okay. And, uh, now see. these, uh, let me see, I don't know. 
I've got a whole nice box. box. All, I've got a whole box left in the in the bedroom there. Of gondoli pictures? Not so much. So I don't know whether. This is the box that was in the bedroom. Well, I've got another I've one there. One. Well, you wouldn't be interested in that okay. one. Well, you know what? Maybe what we should do is. Uh, Call it a day. Well, I, as I say, I did pick out the gungly ones here. Is this the box? Yeah. I think. Um, you know the other one, Arlene? No, these wouldn't, any of them, be especially interesting. Well, maybe we should shut her down for today. Well, did you want to come again or what? Yeah, we could come again. And we have to definitely come back and catalog them. We have to catalog have them, to right? Uh -huh. well, why don't we uh, sign off for now? Well, whatever you say. Do you know how to, to uh, whatever, that's sing the, that's the Mickey Mouse you. clubs? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so let's sign off and um, we'll do this again. Well, if and you'd like to, I'd like to have you. And thanks so much.